What's up? Welcome back to another video. My name is Caitlin if you're new and today's video is another episode of the thrifting my Pinterest board challenge where I find pieces for my Pinterest board and then I go to thrift stores and try and thrift them. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Let's get right in to the haul. I always start off these videos with a little inspiration of some of the pins that I recently pinned. I feel like this thrift run was kind of all over the place if I'm being honest. I didn't have something very specific. This is the first fall thrift run that I had done for the season and so I was kind of just getting my bearings of what I was looking for. I would say that the main thing was incorporating some more navy into my wardrobe. I would love to find some navy blazers, navy pants, navy shoes, maybe a navy bag, navy tops. So I feel like the theme for this is navy and I did end up finding a few navy pieces so I'm very excited about that but I just looked at my wardrobe as a whole realized I didn't have a lot of navy and that I feel like that is a classic color that can be paired with so many different items that I already have in my wardrobe and then just a classic color for years to come. With that being said, I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm doing things a little bit differently in this video than I've done in the past. I have been creating content on my TikTok with this thrift haul and I've been styling the pieces over on TikTok. So I've been doing kind of like different themed videos. Some of it's like thrifting versus styling. Some of it is just getting ready with me. A whole array of videos. So if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to my TikTok. You will always see my thrift finds first over on TikTok and then I just like to come on to YouTube and create these thrift haul videos because I feel like some people like the longer form content. And then it kind of just gives a little explanation of kind of what I was thinking when I picked up the piece and that's something that I don't really do on TikTok because the content is so short. So with that being said, you are going to see a video pop up next to me throughout this video of how I styled the piece while I'm talking about it. Let me know in the comments how you like this style video and with that being said, let's start the haul. The first piece I'm going to start with is this striped turtleneck. I always pick up turtlenecks. I have a white one and I have a black one and this year I decided I wanted to pick up a striped one. If I can find the photo from Pinterest, I will post it on the screen. But if I cannot, the reason that I purchased this is I saw this photo of this girl and she was wearing a cable knit sweater, I believe, with some type of sweater, and layered underneath was a, peeking out was a striped turtleneck, kind of like rolled over, and I just thought it looked so good, and so I was like, I need to thrift a striped turtleneck. But also, I feel like I have always styled and layered these turtlenecks underneath sweaters, underneath sweatshirts, worn them on their own, and so I feel like they're a really good staple to have in the closet. And so I just figured that this was a classic piece that I can wear time after time. And I know I've talked about this before, but whenever I'm thrifting, I'm always looking for ways to wear the piece more than once if I'm not buying it for a specific occasion. That way, I don't purchase something and then it just sits in the closet. First navy piece of the haul is this quarter zip. It's from Land's End. It's super warm and comfortable. I actually use these a lot for layering and then I like these quarter zips for taking out the dog. I feel like they look nicer than wearing a baggy oversized sweatshirt, raggedy sweatshirt, and so I like to pick up these quarter zips because they are not only extremely comfortable, but they're really warm too. So I live in Ohio, it gets cold, I'm always outside walking the dog, and sometimes I don't feel like putting on a cute sweater. So I try and find pieces like this that are stylish, but also comfortable, so that I can go out and look presentable. That was the inspiration for this, and I feel like you could obviously style this a bunch of different ways, but it's also just very versatile piece to have in your closet. The next, and I think the last navy piece that I found in this haul is this navy cardigan. It's like a duster cardigan. And so again, I thought this would be perfect for wearing, working from home. I work remotely. And so it's really nice to have pieces like this that look good on Zoom, but again, are really comfortable. And you can honestly like throw this on with a pair of sweatpants 
and like a pair of jogger sweatpants and like a white top and no one would know that you're in the comfiest outfit ever so I feel like duster cardigans are really good for that. The only other duster cardigan I have is black, so I figured picking up a navy one would be good to have in my closet as well. Another cardigan. This one is obviously not navy, it's camel. But again, I feel like cardigans are just such a good piece to have. I have a lot of short cardigans and wool ones, and I don't have a lot of mid to long cardigan sweaters. And so I've tried to build up my wardrobe. I had mentioned that I have black, navy, and then camel. I try to have one of each color unless they are so different from each other that I just have to have both. Just really rounds out your wardrobe and then that way you don't have a bunch of stuff that you're not wearing, but you do have it in case you feel like wearing camel instead of navy whatever but yeah so love this one really comfy this did come with shoulder pads i think i had talked about this previously in a video it's so common to have shoulder pads in your garments whether it's t-shirts or cardigans or blazers when you're thrifting so i have a little seam cutter and i always just cut out the shoulder pads of any of the pieces that i buy so just keep that in mind when you're thrifting. You don't have to not pick up the piece because it has a pair of shoulder pads in it. Don't be afraid to edit the garment once you get home. I've had so many pieces that I've cut. I've taken out the shoulder pads. I've made it my own, updated it a little bit. Just because it looks outdated doesn't mean you can't do something to change that. I was really excited when I found this piece because I've been obsessed with the brand Buck Mason. I've been obsessed with it for my husband. I bought him Buck Mason stuff for like the past few Christmases, his birthday, anytime there's a special occasion. I pick up a Buck Mason piece for him because I feel like they are staple items in your wardrobe and he'll have them for years to come. They're really good quality and he just loves the style and when I saw this piece I've been looking at all the Buck Mason women's items because they do have women's as well I haven't purchased any for myself but this reminded me of something that would be in a Buck Mason catalog I get like the catalogs like old school it's so much fun but this is a little it's suede I don't know you probably can't tell but it's a fake suede material so it's really really comfortable and I, it just gave me, gave me like that Buck Mason Western vibe. And so when I saw it, I was immediately drawn to it. And I just love this gorgeous brown color. The next item is an accessory. It is this brown big tote. When I saw this, I immediately thought of Bottega. And just with like the cross hatched leather stitching, it is not Bottega. It is, has this like chevron lining inside of the bag. I just needed a big tote. I don't really have a big tote like this. And so I thought this was perfect. Big bags are making a comeback. And so I figured that this would be perfect for the upcoming fall and winter season. I tend to bring a big bag like this when I go to like my in-laws or my parents' house because we tend to stay for a while. So I'll bring like my laptop, a book, if we're watching a, a sports game. We're gonna be outside, I'll bring like extra socks. Um, my in-laws have a hot tub. Mitch and I are always bringing our bathing suits. And so just things like that where I think like a big tote would come in handy if you're a mom. Big totes are making a comeback and I feel like that's like the perfect thing for moms to not have a micro bag but to have a big tote to store all of your mom stuff in. So I feel like I don't need to explain myself with the tote. I just was excited when I found it because it just gave me Bottega vibes and I hope to be able to buy a Bottega this big one day. The next item I picked up was this sweater dress. It's a turtleneck sweater dress and I tend not to wear dresses if I'm being completely honest. I just don't really feel confident in dresses but there are some occasions where I am like I need to wear a dress whether we're going out to a nice place and I feel like a dress would be appropriate rather than a pair of oversized trousers or if we're going to like a wedding obviously I wouldn't wear a sweater dress to a wedding but maybe like a bridal shower a baby shower there's just like certain things in life where I feel that I should wear a dress so it's nice to have staple dresses that I can go to and I've been building up my staple dress collection 
over the past few years and so I just picked up this white one I don't have a cream sweater dress I don't have a cream dress in general so when I saw this one I it was in perfect condition I love a white sweater so the fact that it was a dress was just an added bonus for me so yeah you won't see me wearing this <laughs> very often but I did style it in a recent video and I love the way I styled it. I need to find a pair of boots that are better for this dress but that's okay. That is on the thrift list, just haven't found it yet. And then last but certainly not least, I found a pair of jeans which is insane. I never score with pants at thrift stores. I feel like pants are so hard to thrift. And I ended up finding a pair of jeans. I was looking for light wash denim. I don't have really many light wash jeans. I think I have like two pairs and they are both different styles. I didn't have a pair of like the typical mom jean. And I found these ones. They're just a classic pair of straight leg light wash denim. I feel like there's not much to talk about the actual jeans. But I will give a little tip when you are at the thrift store looking for jeans. If you would notice when you're searching through the racks, you can spot, if you pay attention, you can spot the difference between a low quality pair of denim and a high quality pair of denim. And when you are thrifting and you see a high quality pair of denim compared to the low quality, it is so apparent at what brands are good and what are not. And so when I'm thrifting, I always am looking for the quality of the denim before I pick up the pair of pants. So it's not the style that I'm looking for, it's the quality of the denim that I'm looking for when I'm thrifting. So next time you go thrifting, just pay attention. I promise you, you will notice it when you see a pair of high quality denim versus when you see a pair of low quality denim. So, or pants, jeans. I shouldn't even say denim because a lot of the times the jeans are not actually made of real denim. So. With that being said, just a little tip next time you go thrifting, don't so much look for the style or the color that you're looking for, but look for the quality of the jean and then pick it up and see if it's your size and style you want, if it's in a good condition, so on and so forth. So that is it for this thrift haul. I hope you enjoyed and got some inspiration for your thrift run in the future or just your wardrobe and how to style some pieces that you may already have with that being said again if you're not already make sure to subscribe have a great rest of your day and i will see you in my next video Bye.